never be a part of my plan. You will have to be removed. Don't underestimate me. I am out of options. It appears I underestimated Sun Juan's ability. You rely on strength alone to subjugate your men. But my lord is different. Lord Huang Gai, please, I ask that you leave the pursuit of Cao Cao to us. But why? We have already put a plan into place. Huang Gai, what happened? I'm sorry, but he got away. But Zhuge Liang... He was here? Just what is that man up to? They engulfed Cao Cao's massive navy in a sea of crimson flame. It was as if Sun Quan and his men's raw determination had become a towering inferno. However, Cao Cao narrowly managed to escape with his life, and he still possessed the most formidable fighting force in the land. It was only a matter of time before he would turn his attention south once more. They could not count on the miracle at Cherbi to repeat itself again. Convinced of their fate, Zhou Yu decided to take to the offensive. Together with Gan Ning, he would invade Nanjuin in Cao Cao's land of Jing. And after occupying it, he would move on to attack Xiangyang and seize control of Jing itself. With momentum on his side, he would force Liu Zhang of Yi to surrender, thus dividing the land between Cao Cao and himself. This would lead to a showdown with Cao Cao, and ultimately to a new age of Wu rule. This was Zhou Yu's plan to split the land in two. However, protecting Nan Juin was none other than Cao Cao's cousin, Cao Ren. This formidable opponent was said to be nearly invulnerable in a defensive battle. Further, yet another man threatened to cast a dark cloud over Zhou Yu and his carefully crafted plans. How's it look, Ding Feng? The enemy is holed up in the castle and taking a defensive position. It will be most difficult to attack from head on. Additionally, it appears that Liu Bei's army has also set up camp there. Huh? What's that all about? Is he planning to fight alongside us? No. We do not have such an arrangement. Zhuge Liang, what are you plotting? You're quite a strange one, aren't you? Despite that tough exterior, you're all soft on the inside. What could be more soothing to the soul than beautiful scenery? Perhaps you would like to join me sometime. The two of us? Uh, no thanks. I think I'll pass. Very well then. Suit yourself. I hate the dark. That's Lord Ding Feng. I wouldn't like to get on his wrong side. Hey there, Ding Feng. Don't you go letting our man Gan Ning down. You know, Ding Feng's something of a poet. I hope he doesn't start reading us any. I don't think I could keep a straight face. We triumph together at Chur B. But this behavior just leaves a sour taste.
So Liu Bei is here as well. It would be nice to be able to see him again. Ouch. Maybe I should move further away. Our lady is prettier than ever. They say love does that to a woman. I wonder. Poor Lord Zhou Yu. His worries just keep on mounting. What is Liu Bei's army doing? Those parasites. He's so dark and mysterious. I wish I could be more like him. Everyone says I should be my own man, but I'm hardly going to inspire future generations, am I? Lord Zhou Tai is like our Lord's shadow. You never notice him, but he's always there. I fight on behalf of Lord Sun Quan. I don't think Lord Zhou Yu likes Zhuge Liang much. I can't say I blame him. Lord Zhou Yu is so upstanding and righteous, and Zhuge Liang just seems devious and nasty. Lord Lu Dai is exactly the same age as Liu Bei, yet he's just getting started as a leader. The enemy general Cao Ren is renowned for his defensive abilities. It will not be easy to break through his guard. Cao Ren is a man of honor and a mighty warrior. He will be hard to break. First, we must take out the surrounding bases, and then we can concentrate on the castle. Do not let down your guard. We must be wary of Cao Cao and Liu Bei as well. All right! Finally, I get to see some action! The enemy defenses are sound. We will have to break them down base by base. like a damn fool when you say that stuff.
so I you are my next opponent. Out. I'll crush you like all of the others. Return. Remember that. For yours is the first head I shall see. You've got no chance against me. Say so. Everybody attack on my command. Taking out the enemy camp will decide this battle. The enemy believes that Lord Zhou Yu is injured. They're moving forward. Hey, you might have let me in on the secret first. So, we're drawing the enemy out then, huh? Like a bank of dark clouds threatening to burst, Liu Bei's silence is unnerving. I don't care what he's up to. We just have to get in there and take Nanjun. Liu Bei's forces helped us at Tier B. They'll help us again. Fight on! We must not fall short. I think you can escape from me. We have to draw the enemy out further. The success of this plan rests upon us. So 
know you are my next opponent. I'll crush you like all of the others. No chance against me. Now is the time to attack. Everybody, to battle! you're doing? You trying to pick a fight, huh? Cao Cao is my lord's arch enemy. He has simply taken care of matters that are the So you are my next opponent. I'll crush you like all of the others. The fate of my troops lies in my hands. I cannot fail them. I'm sick of waiting around. My lord, Xiang Yang has fallen to Guan Yu. What? Ugh. Zhuge Liang. He's always one step ahead. Uh. You told us all it was a lie that you were injured. I... I thought I could hold out until we had Xiang Yang. Hey, pull yourself together! Despite much hardship, Zhou Yu managed to seize Nanjuin and obtain Xiang Yang, which was so vital to his strategy. And soon after that, Jing cities of Wuling, Changsha, Lingling, and Guiyang also fell. When Zhou Yu fell injured and his ranks fell into confusion, Liu Bei struck a crippling blow and seized all that Wu had worked so hard to earn. Meanwhile, Cao Cao had recovered from his defeat and again posed a threat. With Cao Cao before them and Liu Bei behind them, his health deteriorating, Zhou Yu put everything he had left into one last strategy. A strategy that would save the kingdom that his fallen friend and Sun Xuan had worked so hard to build. It would be Zhou Yu's final strategy, the marriage of Sun Shangxiang to Liu Bei. I never dreamed that you and I would end up like this. <laughs> well, I always had a feeling that we might. Farewell, my lady. Lian Shir, thank you for everything. I wanted to take you with me. But I know that there is someone here who needs you even more than I. <laughs> take good care of my brother.
This marriage will be as a chain upon Liu Bei. It will prevent him from attacking Wu. My sister seems happy. Even though she is being used as a pawn. As a leader of men, you have a long way to go to match your father's legacy. And your ambition pales beside that of your brother. I know. <clears throat> and therein lies your strength. Your awareness of your own weakness means you have to put considered plans in place to win. You may be weak, cowardly, and devious, but in the end, that is why you will be victorious. Your words mean the world to me. I will not forget. done all I have to. And so, Liu Bei was made a member of the Sun family through marriage. Afterwards, Liu Bei was invited to Yi by Liu Zhang, who was fearful of Cao Cao's strength. Beseeched by the people of Yi, Liu Bei answered their pleas and attacked Liu Zhang, taking his land for himself. Cao Cao of Wei, Sun Quan of Wu, and now Liu Bei of Shu. The land was divided into three. Before long, Cao Cao would occupy Han Zhong in order to check Xu's growing power. Threatened by Cao Cao's move, the fledgling kingdom of Xu turned to Wu for assistance. Sun Quan was determined to strike Cao Cao from behind and instructed Gan Ning and his men to march on Hefei. Unfortunately, Wu no longer had the brilliance of Zhou Yu to guide them. However, in this battle, a new bond of allegiance would be formed. I reckon this next battle will be a real walk in the park. Oh, man. Sure to talk of it, game. Huh? <laughs> you too. You never stop. With Lord Zhou Yu gone, we must be more united than ever to support our Lord. Yeah, yeah but, but he was. was... <sighs> hey, how about a contest? Who begs the most enemies? And the loser has to lead the army. Huh? Sounds lame. But if it'll get you to shut up for a while. Our vanguard has the undermanned enemy on the run. Our job is to We'll leave the set of the Ning Toy. Fight me now, for glory! <laughs> 
It takes more than that to get the jump on me. Hanjong's unit has encountered an enemy fire attack to the west and has been wiped out. We have been careless. The enemy was better prepared than we thought. Chung Kung's unit has been wiped out by an enemy ambush. Ambush trap. This is not going as simply as I had anticipated. What we do sets an example for the rest of the men. Maybe next time. And this is long. They wanted to draw us out. You're mine. I'm sick of waiting around. Impressive gun. Your victories will serve the greater good of our kingdom. So you are my next opponent. I'll crush you like all of the others. Our main unit is under enemy fire. We have to help them at once. You're mine! But I can't let you outshine me! Zhang Liao. It's Zhang Liao! It's really him! The mighty Zhang Liao, huh? Ha! Let's see how mighty he really is! Fire! Aim for Sun Quan! from this location.
Aishad Sir is dead. This is all that's left of us. You and I can't afford to be fighting amongst ourselves anymore. Ah. Ling Tong, you go and protect our lord. And I'll do what I can to protect the both of you. Huh. There you go again, trying to act all tough. Our Lord, you, the old man, I refuse to let anybody else die. Tai should, sir. Forgive me. We must escape from here. If something happens to you, Tai should, sir's death will have been in vain. You're right. It must be hard for our Lord. It's our task to support him in his hour of need. For as much as you act like enemies, you and Lord Gan Ning work really well together. <laughs> Don't push him. He's a grumpy sort. Lord Gan Ning is a valuable member of our army. We have to accept a certain amount of undesirable behavior from him. Zhang Liao is just terrifying. Where does he get that strength? Have you got your goose feather, my lord? We're supposed to wear them so we know who our allies are. Ah, it's Zhong Liao! No, I'm just practicing for when he shows up. Zhong Liao is just tap. Zhong Li. Ah, what a waste that was. Lord Taishir Tzu may be satisfied. After all, he was able to repay his debt to Lord Sun Tzu. It always helps to have a rival. A bit of friendly competition gets the best out of you. The enemy has the momentum. I'm not sure we can turn the tide. Ling Tung. We can no longer afford to let you be driven simply by your emotions. I know. What we do sets an example for the rest of the men. There is no need to be overly critical of yourself. However, you know what you must do. Yeah, yeah. I need to work together with Gan Ning to protect our lord. Okay, then. Now, let's get going. Report! It seems that the enemy reinforcements have arrived! Your head is mine, Soon Twan!
can't let the enemy units meet. Ling Tong, we have to stop them. Be ready to fight for your lives. Don't let any of them get through. More obstacles. We'll just have to force our way through. Wow, somebody even lazier than I am. Stronger and smarter every day. If it's a fight you want, then you've come to the right place. Did you think I'd let you get away? Well done. I'll have to try and keep up. I shall return. Remember that. For yours is the first head I shall see. shall be the one to put an end to your efforts. This is where we show that we are made of a sterner stuff than the enemy. Come and face me. Jump on me! Ah! 
could surpass my might. What are you waiting for? Retreat! Retreat! Hey there. Gan Ning. You remember how many you beat? Huh? You're not still doing that, are you? How about we start again from scratch? New stakes. The loser buys the winner drinks for a year. Huh. Sounds good to me. All right. Not again. Maybe next time. Their attempt to capture Hefei ended in failure. However, as a result of the battle, Wei pulled back its forces and Shu's safety was secured. As a show of gratitude, Liu Bei offered to return the lands of Jing to Wu. However, Guan Yu, who had been in charge of Jing's defense, remained there as per Zhuge Liang's instructions. Wu cursed the duplicity of Shu, but as long as the mighty Guan Yu remained, there was little they could do. After repeated negotiations, Wu and Shu agreed to split Jing in two between them. With the problem of Jing behind them, Shu then moved to attack Wei at Hanjiang. Guan Yu also joined the fray, moving north to attack Wei's stronghold of Fan Castle. However, they were unaware that they were playing right into Cao Cao's hands. Immediately, Cao Cao moved to form an alliance with Sun Quan. For as long as Guan Yu was in Jiangling, neither Wei nor Wu could rest easy. Wei would lure Guan Yu out, and Wu would strike him from behind. Sun Quan agreed to the plot against Guan Yu and sent Lu Xuan along with his best troops to Jing. He did this despite knowing that doing so would stain his honor and brand him a traitor, and that this would cause immense grief to the sister he had given to Xu in marriage. <laughs> 